be traffic through the cross-site scripting channel. Uh, this allows the attacker to uh, channel that traffic and take advantage of the victim's credentials. Alright, basically the cross-site scripting tunnel is a standard HTTP proxy that sits on the attacker system. And how it works is um, it will connect to the cross-site scripting shell and obtain like the, the current victim and then and the attack will have to configure his or her browser to use the cross-site scripting tunnel as a proxy. What the tunnel will do is convert the HTTP requests into a, a, something that the shell can understand and process and then it's sent to the victim's browser. And basically the, the JavaScript sitting on the, the victim's browser will take this command and uh, process the request, the attacker's request, and then send back the response. And we'll just show you that in action real quick here. First you need to configure your, your tunnel to connect to uh, your website. And just copy the link in here and just test it. Um, the default password, like we said before, is uh, Woot. And if you change the password, you're going to change it here. And as you can see, you can set up the, the proxy, uh, what interface it listens on. Um, we're just going to leave it on any interface. And as you can see, it's set up on port 8080. And uh, let's go over the dashboard here and start the tunnel. And it'll connect to uh, and it'll connect to the shell and get back the the current victim. And as you can see there, the ID of the current victim is the only victim. And uh, basically, all we need to do now is set up our browser to use the tunnel as a proxy. And to do this in Firefox, just go to Tools, Options, uh, Advance, and the Network tab. Then go to manual proxy configuration, put in uh, 1.127.0.0.1, and then port 8080, and then uh, remove the part for no proxy. Uh, it's set up by default to not use proxies on the local host, just delete that out. And it's OK, OK. Um, but I found with Firefox version 3, uh, it has a, it has a encoding there, as you'll see here shortly. See, uh, an uh, encoding error comes up. I short search on Google to see what, what's causing this problem. Uh, seems just to be a problem with uh, Firefox version 3. It'll probably work in the, the earlier versions. Uh, and they'll probably have it fixed soon, so I don't know. But for now, we'll just use uh, Internet Explorer. And you configure it basically in the same way. Let's go to Tools, Internet Options, uh, Connections tab, LAN settings, and then check to use a, a proxy server. And then just put in the localhost again, 8080, and make sure the that uh, bypass proxy uh, is unchecked. And then we'll just go to the Infinity's website. Um, and if you look at the tunnel, you'll see that uh, it's, it is sending uh, requests to the client and uh, getting responses back. Uh, and you'll notice that it says cache responses. Basically, it'll, it'll cache like images, uh, style sheets, and stuff like that um, just to save time um, on your next request. And what we'll do here is just switch back to the victim, and as you can see, the victim can click on different links and uh, um, do different things. As long as it doesn't close the, the page, it'll still continually, continuously send the commands and get the responses back with no problem. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it, it'll take a little while to load, but eventually the website will load, and if you look, you'll see that I'm no longer logged in as attacker, a normal member, you'll see that I'm logged in as Apache, an administrator. So the tunnel allowed me to tunnel through the victim and use their credentials, um, bypassing IP restrictions and uh, authentication. So now I'll be able to do anything to the, the website that admin can. I can go to the admin console and just change anything. So.
That's basically how the cross-site scripting tunnel works. Well, that is it for this episode on the cross-site scripting shell and tunnel. Um, I also do want to mention that we are still taking uh, user submissions for videos for our underground series. You can email uh, your video ideas to underground at infinityexist.com. Um, also, we are really close to getting a new camera, so please go to the website and donate so we can get that as soon as possible. Um, I'm Knox, and this is Patch. Take it easy.